एंड वेलकम बैक टू एस के वॉन्डर किड्स आई एम सारम खान एंड टुडे वी आर बैक टू आर टॉपिक दैट इज ग्रेविटेशन फॉर जे ई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वेरिएशन इन दी वैल्यू ऑफ जे ई ओके दैट इज वेरिएशन इन दी वैल्यू ऑफ जी ओके दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ वेरिएशन इन दी वैल्यू ऑफ जी सो फर्स्ट लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू दैट इन माई फर्स्ट वीडियो ओवर ग्रेविटेशन फॉर जे ई ओके आई वी स्टडीड अबाउट अबाउट वेदर वॉट इज ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स यूनिवर्सल ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन एंड लैटर अबाउट वॉट इज ग्रेविटी दैट्स द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एक्जॉर्टेड ऑन एस बाई दी अर्थ ओके नाउ इन लैटर वी कैन सी दैट इन ओके नाउ इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट वॉट इज एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी दैट इज डिनोटेड बाय द लेटर जी एंड इन अवर दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वेरिएशन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ जी मीन्स द वेरिएशन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी okay so let me inform you that over this video can be in many parts because as we know there can be many kinds of variations in in its value that is of acceleration due to gravity as we go above earth surface so later the its value may we marry ओके मे वेरी लेटर एज वी गो इन वेरी डेप्थ सो इट्स वैल्यू मे वेरी लेटर ड्यू टू द रोटेशन ऑफ अर्थ इट्स वैल्यू मे वेरी सो देर आर मैनी वेज ओके सो देर आर मैनी वेज बाई विच द वैल्यू ऑफ जी देर विल बी अ वेरिएशन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ जी बट अवर टूडेज वीडियो इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन दैट हाउ द वेरिएशन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ जी कैन बी कॉस्ड वेन वी गो एब द अर्थ सर्फेस ओके दैट्स अवर टूडेज पॉइंट in our today's video so above earth surface means as we go higher at the earth surface okay just like let me give you an example just like what we had the g value what is it 9.8 meters per second square okay g value is 9.8 meters per second square but near the surface of earth that is near the surface of earth okay just like as we go in height okay very high okay so as we go in depth so there is a variation in 9.8 this why in some questions while solving related to gravitation we may also take the value of acceleration due to gravity as 10 meters per second square that's the point but why okay the answer for this is that the value of g may vary from place to place okay so generally it is believed near earth surface close to earth surface it is 9.8 meters per second square but sometime it may become 10 meters per second square sometime 9.9 meter per second square so it may vary okay from place to place now question arises how it may vary so our today's point is that as we go above the earth surface let me give you an example that imagine here surfaces okay imagine here earth surfaces okay this is the surface of earth now what we can see here if a block is kept here okay if a block of any mass given m is kept here on the earth surface so the acceleration due to gravity will be in downward direction that is 9.8 meters per second square acceleration due to gravity will be 9.8 meters per second square that will be exerted by the Okay, by the earth on the block, just like but even then it will have no motion at this time because it is already on the surface of earth. Imagine just like what may happen in a different case that imagine this block is just released from up and it is about to fall. It is about to fall above. Okay, down and it is about to touch the earth surface. So here, what will be the acceleration? It as we know the object or the block of mass m is in motion, and here the acceleration of that will be also nine point eight meters per second square. That's the point. But sometime what it may happen? Sometime it may happen that we can see such case. Okay, we can see such case. Here is the surface of earth. Okay, here is surface of Earth, and imagine the same block is put here. Okay, same block is here. Imagine from a very up from any tall building, anyone has released this block, and suddenly it starts falling down. Now, what will be the acceleration due to gravity? Okay, that is g, but here g value may not be 9.8 meters per second square. Imagine its height, height of block, anything. Just like imagine this edge. Okay, imagine this edge. Now, whatever be the value of g, that will depend over h. Okay, so the value of g will now depend on h. Means the lesser the h, the higher the g, and the higher the h, the lesser the g. Okay, that's the point. Means they are inversely proportional to each other. That's the total point. That they are inversely proportional to each other. 
so if same block was kept here so g value was 9.8 meters per second square height was very less but when we okay when this height size grew so it is okay g here we are writing but actually we do not know what is numerical value of this g because we know that now the value of g will be decreasing okay the value of g will be decreasing now how it will be decreasing let us discuss over it so uh, here only what is the point that here g is f by m okay this we know that g is f by m now f by m is okay as we know in our last video we had calculated that is g m by okay now r square that is g m by r square okay now this we had got that g is g m by r square how g m by r square because we know okay first erase this let us one time drive how g m by r square so only f what is force what is g m m divided by r square now divided by this one mass 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 cancel which is equals to g m now this will go in denominator by r square so finally what is g g is g m by r square okay now we know that g value will will be varying as height will change so only what will happen g is g m by r square then here will have a g dash okay will have a g dash because we know that g value is varying now g dash and g are unequal so here will be not putting g will be putting g dash so g dash equals to now first of all now it was this was g m by r square this will be also nearly equals to g okay so as we know all time first of all let me inform you that all time g value will be this but there may be some changes in this some points in this may be changed only what will be changed r plus h whole square okay r plus h whole square okay which this gm by r square always in all equations it may be only some changes may be and here the change is we have to find out not only r square that will be r plus h whole square why r plus h whole square g is universal gravitational constant g dash is the change in the value of g okay m is the mass of earth r plus h whole square means radius plus the height okay it's whole square radius plus height whole square whatever be the radius of earth that is 6400 kilometers and whatever will be the height above which the block of mass m is put okay or any object is put so this is our main point that g dash equals to gm by r plus h whole square now to this will be solving which is equals to now gm by r plus whole h whole square so gm divided by to this will be solving r one r square will be out now r square now one plus h by one plus h by r whole square okay so this value we got that g dash equals to here we can write that finally g dash equals to g m divided by r square times bracket 1 plus h by r okay whole square bracket close so that is the g, g dash value finally we've got that this is the value of g dash okay but if we want we can do some more changes this gm okay Then this is our final equation if we want so we can drive one more equation through that this gm by r square okay this gm by r square as we know earlier also we have noted that g value is gm by r square means 9.8 meters per second square is gm by r square so this can be can this can be replaced by simply g of course we can so g dash equals to at the place of gm by r square will write g but in numerator okay because g dash equals sorry g equals to gm by r square in numerator we have to write so here g divided by this gone now one plus only what is left one plus h by r whole square finally what we got now this is our final expression so finally we what we got that uh, when we go above earth surface at any certain height h when we go above earth surface at any certain height h so the gravity acceleration due to gravity value for us will be given at that time as g dash equals to g divided by 1 plus h by r whole square so this is our, our final e expression for g dash value and in our next videos we can study about uh, how the okay how the value of g may vary okay due to the rotation of earth and how it may vary at as we go in the depth of earth surface so this is our today's topic final expression plus we have so this was my today's topic thank you